And welcome back again guys. With League and Dark Souls I kinda started here. Uh, in a hurry, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, with Dark Souls. And uh, we are actually going to go back through Sense Fortress cause we actually did leave kind of a lot of items behind. So I would like to go and get those. I will also reverse my humanity and probably even kindle this bonfire. Yeah, we'll do that as well. Um, you will need quite a lot of humanities overall in this game. So, whenever you kindle the bonfire to get more Estus flasks, or when you try to get back to your human form so that you can get summons or you can be summoned. Those will take uh, humanity. So just keep that in mind. So as I said we will be going back. Because I kind of want to... Mm. Not sure if it's viable. Hopefully he died. Probably did. Don't know about that acid attack. It could be corrosive acid attack. So your equipment could get uh, destroyed if you get too much speed on you. Alright. And we're not going to go too much far, though, I think. Cause, well, we will go back to that Mimic. Actually, that's one thing, cause I want to show you guys a trick to it, well most of you already know what I'm going to do with it, but it's just alright, fine, just jump down there, that's fine as well. This is one of the main points why I came here. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Backstab you. Are you dead soon? Yeah, thank you. And we get large titanite shards here. Two of them. Um, those are very important if you want to upgrade this uh, claymore as well. So definitely do take that. And then we will... Kind of... It's kind of annoying now that the other guy actually jumped there. I think, oh well, let's just jump with him. Down here. And one the guy over there, where's the other one? Oh well, I guess he's not here. Yep, he's not here. Fine for me. Alright, so there's one lizard man he will actually fall down on his own you can get here on another route as well but yeah slumbering dragon crest ring will actually is quite useful so if you want to change that where produces no sound whatsoever very useful if you want to backstab people um, Definitely useful in this area, in my opinion. And yeah. So that's a thing. Oh my god. Man, that was close. <laughs> Sorry, concentrating and... That kind of takes all my... Uh, commentary uh, willing willing less to commentate I guess 
Alright, so, um, yeah, I guess I kind of explained why I'm going back, uh, those dark, um, large titanite shots being one reason, and the other reason being a weapon, uh, that ring as well that we got. Other than that, we really don't have any clear reason. Um, I was, on the last episode, I was showing you guys that uh, Siegmeier of Katarina should have been down there with the lizards uh, sitting on the edge of the cliff down there. But we actually activated the boulder to go in a different direction beforehand. So that's why we didn't see Siegmeier sitting there. So do go talk to him before you actually ch change the direction of the boulder. So yeah, that's the same thing I wanted to tell you guys. And apparently we are doing a lot better now than on the last episode. We died like seven times. Alright. Now I'll go up here and then we should be able to jump down here. God, that was close. So close. Fine. Be like that. You should die. Yep. And here we have a soul of proud knight. So yeah, here you can actually jump down as well to get that ring that we actually got through the other way around. Um, keep that in mind as well. And this direction leads us to. A, an, an NPC clothing. So here we can find the Black Sorcerer armor. This is something that's ki kind of intriguing to me. Um, mainly the reason is that the only Black Sorcerer armor that we have seen in the game is actually the one that um, Greg, I think his name's Greg. We found a sorcerer on the what you call it the area, um, like undead, undead burg, like in in the area where the thieves and the dogs were. Um, there was a, there were a sorcerer that was trapped inside a small house and we saved him and now apparently um, ooh, apparently he is found dead in that spot where we found his armor actually if we check out the equipment let's just uh, look at it real quickly here Hat worn by a proper sorcerer who studied in Winheim Dragon School. So basically this already tells us that it's a sorcerer and not like any uh, like multiple sorcerers. The major majority take pride in having studied at the academy. Um, but it's a formal dress code of course, but the, it still tells that I proper sorcerers all right so it's multiple multiple sorcerers and it not not just one uh, all right so that's that let's check out this one cloak from secret sorcerers Adwin. all right so it's not like um, only one person ca could use that armor or anything like that but still it's intriguing cause if you remember what uh, Soler said when he gave us the white soapstone to summon people in the very beginning of the uh, 
playthrough. Um, he said that time intervenes and is. Oh my god. Time intervenes and is being like multiplied on top of each other and everything like that. He would realize that maybe that sorcerer that we found on um, or saved maybe he I, I'm, I'm taking too much time on explaining this but he is not actually dead it's just something that is intriguing at least all right, you it's locked all right um, I'm thinking like should we we don't need to go there, but I do want to get rid of this uh, bowman over here, so let's do that. So yeah, that's just something that I've I've been wondering. It's not actually the sorcerer that we found, but some are actually thinking that maybe it is. That maybe it is Titanite Sword. And again, we found our boss gate room here. I'm thinking if I should go and kill the giant over here. Maybe I should. This giant thingy. I'm actually totally not sure how much damage we do. Alright, we do enough. First time you encounter this giant, you will be very, very stressed out. Oh my god, I almost died on him. Oh my god. Alright. Oh my god. Please die as soon as possible. Yay. <laughs> Alright. Even I got a little bit stressed there. It's not an easy boss fight, he, especially if he gets like a lucky hit like he did against my myself. All right, so Gavi actually Gavi sauce on YouTube or Sasquatch, who does some Monster Hunter plays. He actually was talking to me about. Uh, how Dark Souls actually re reminds himself of Dante's Inferno, and that's actually something that that's been kind of in my mind, and I've been thinking like how that could actually be. Like, okay, I understand that uh, like the main main areas of the play or well, the game actually kind of reminds you. Um, of course, like religion-based stuff is very high, uh, very uh, how should I say? Um, Dante's Inferno uh, emphasizes more on a religion itself, other than uh, like Dark Souls doesn't really uh, concentrate on religion itself. Um, what Dark Souls does is actually it Actually, um, it's kind of funny. Basically, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but uh, in Dark Souls, it's more about the curse that humans actually possess, and the actual fight to try and survive that curse is the main thing. And 
where where like uh, the um, religion based stuff comes from is basically the lords when they were born in the very first cutscene we see that four lords were born and they actually had like daughters and uh, sons and everything like that you could even like put it on simple terms like uh, the main boss of this game basically or the one they called Gwyn is actually you could say that he is uh, Zeus it's very s similar to it um, basically it's just uh, Gwyn is Zeus and uh, he has had many children, uh, one son, uh, one daughter, uh, and stuff like that. And then there's, all, of course, like, uh, god, dragon hybrids, and everything like that. And through that, I could say that religion is kinda similar. Let's just talk to him first. What? What? Who, who are you? Ah, another undead, eh? I took my son's fortress alone. But I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out with your soul searching. Yes, indeed, I'm drinking my tea here. There's nothing more to say. I'm finished. We've got end of story. Bloody fool. Alright, so you can buy actually large titanite sauce from this one. Also, you can buy a uh, great sword and tower shield. Don't buy either one of those, actually. Don't. And boulder shield, you can, you can get all of these before you... Yeah. Don't buy any of these. Um... Katarina armor, of course, you can get these from here if you want to buy them. If you kill Siegmeier of Katarina, you get the whole set that way. So yeah, the main point here is actually to get the large titanite swords. But they require like 4000 souls. I will actually buy as many as possible. Three for now. Um, I will actually use my rest soul on titanite swords. Go along, try and make something of yourself. Alright, and we want to actually change our equipment as well. So yes, as I said, like... Um, um, religion is very... Um, it is present in this game. Um, you could, like imply that like there's the queen's daughter she is actually like uh, a princess of sunlight and most of sorceries come from her or through her and if you think about it like that and uh, many of like the guys that we found on Firelink Shrine that were praying, uh, the one lady and the one fat guy and uh, the two followers that she had with him or her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, they are pr pretty much like... Uh, Oh my god. Oh my god. Why am I popping humanity? God damn it. Why can't I block his attacks? Seriously. No, don't do that. Right. 
Seriously. Alright, I'm going to concentrate on this fight. Apparently. Apparently I can't block his attacks. That's just great. Yay, we did it. Yay. All right. So yeah, um hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this topic like very interesting, but I'm like I said explaining things for like I'm tr <laughs> trying to explain things can be very hard for myself and it's very hard to explain things that are uh, compl complicated from the get-go so yeah I'll just try to keep the commentary gameplay based so anyhow yeah uh, uh, Religion is um, All right, I don't want to do this Come on. All right, so I've been invaded as well. Great. That's just great. I'm being invaded as well. Get divine blessing. Get the Ring of Sacrifice. Use a Homeward Bone. If you have one. Do I have any? I actually do. I can't use. That's great. All right. So I've been invaded. And record is here. Yay, that was close. Oh, sorry, commentary really is like a record is one of the hardest NPCs that you will ever find. But you get a nice little weapon from him as well. Alright, so we've been invaded by a player. So we need to get and deal with that as well. So that's a thing. There you are. All right, let's play a game. What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Nope, I'm not gonna go and play with you there. Have fun! Not gonna come.
Have fun. Thank you. Cebu95. Totally owned your butt. Alright, I think I've done recording. Um, we got the cage key so we can use the shortcut here. Uh, what you wanna do here actually is um, go down it, um, keep your shield up. Um, as I said, it's a shortcut. So this guy over here will come and join you. So you go outside, go inside, and yeah. If you don't do this, then the shortcut is uh, if you die somewhere outside of Sense Fortress. Um, the shortcut in, is not available any other way. So yes, um, 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 I'm not sure if I like explain this uh, religion-based stuff. Like mainly on uh, Dante's Inferno, it's based on sin, and if you do something bad, you 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 lose your humanity and stuff like that. On Dark Souls, it's more like a curse. You lose your humanity just by dying, and each time you die, you lose gradually your humanity. But not everything uh, religion-based is based on the prin princess of sunlight who created all the miracles, like healing and uh, like I have this healing uh, miracle that I don't really use. But yeah, all miracles are based on those. Uh, religion based like it's basically a deity that is similar to God and uh, yeah through that I kind of see that there is that sin and redemption kind of stuff uh, inside Dark Souls but it's not very uh, in depth so to say that you don't really see it in game uh, scene happening like it doesn't matter because it's like medieval uh, age overall so it doesn't really matter if you do something bad people don't look look at you so uh, harshly uh, like it's very common in medieval for people to actually torture other people and it's not looked bad upon even some religions just uh, even religion itself did that like many uh, I think it was like many priestess, priestesses even tortured uh, some people for some reason, some religion based reason so it's not that big like in Dante's Inferno it's quite clear that what is bad and but Overall, though, uh, I do see it uh, comparing to like boss design and level design and uh, everything like that. But then again, that that was just me comparing uh, a game to a game. Of course, if you're talking about Dante's Inferno, the book, or yeah, the book, uh, of course that doesn't really matter the game design you can't really compare a uh, game to a book but uh, yeah anyhow i hope you guys enjoyed even though my ramblings doesn't make any sense by any well most of the time um see you guys on the next one i hope you enjoyed the little invasion by cb95 and yeah um other than that thank you for watching Please do comment on below what you think about the let's play and like the video if you so choose. See ya!